Today, we are checking out the Razer 2 Extreme, otherwise known as the 2009 BMW M3 GT2 Insider Drive World. So yeah, let's move on to the upgrades. For the engine, I recommend you get an i6 along with all the race upgrades. For the suspension tune, I recommend you pause the video, but I'll have it on screen for about 5 more seconds. For the gearbox, I recommend you leave it stock, but yeah, let's move on to the first race, which is Hurrican. Alright guys, so we're here at Hurrican, just like I said, and you'll see you guys in a second with the results. Alright guys, so looks like you can get a doable 1 minute 1.7 to a doable 1 minute 2.2 .2 on Hurrican. But yeah, let's move on to the next race, which is Speed Avenue. Alright guys, so we're here at Speed Avenue just like I said, and you'll see you guys in a second with the results. Alright guys, so looks like you can get a doable 56.3 to a doable 56.7 on Speed Avenue. But yeah, let's move on to the final race, which is drag. Alright guys, so we're here at drag, just like I said, and you'll see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, so looks like you can get doable 11.7 to 11.9 on drag. Alright guys, so if I was you, this car's okay. The top speed is decent-ish, the acceleration is decent-ish, the brakes are good, and the handling is decent but a little stiff. Overall, this car's worth getting if you want an unusual car to use for collection purposes, but other than that, it's not worth getting since there are better cars out there for racing purposes. So yeah, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think, but other than that, huge shout out to Cloud and Drill to help you in today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.